now this is one of the most talked about categories because we have seen the number of dancehall artists in the country and of, of all all of them they, we keep seeing the same names all the time the same names all the time and what's amazing is especially now with the um, you know uh, exclusion of Shatawali um, you would think um, other dancehall artists you know would be arising you know in, in, in the dancehall artists of the year section but uh, it's still the same people and even in, when you see a new name uh, the, the new name is not really able to um, do that much compared to the winner so the winner for the regular dancehall artists of the year was Stoneboy it was Stoneboy and if, if you know what one, one thing before we even we even go ahead let's take a look at um, the other artists in this category so here are their names Samini Larusso Episode That's all We have only three Apart from Stoneboy We have only three dancehall artists That were in this category And yet the youth are producing dancehall songs every day So this is trying This this, this means that Vodafone Ghana Music Award is saying They are still not doing enough According to their standards To be you know um, Selected for reggae dancehall artists of the year Look at look at the rest of the artists, even apart from LaRusso, Samini and Episode. They have been in this game for a very long time now. You get it. Why are we seeing the same names over and over again? You know, with other categories like the hip hop high life and the rest, we always see new artists um, from time to time. But when it comes to the reggae dancehall artists of the year, we are seeing the same names. The same names and Look at something, Shatawale, you already know Shatawale, he's no more a part of this um, type of awards. And, and, huh? and, and let, let me pull aside note. Someone said if, if Shatawale was here, like, um, uh, uh, maybe he would have won the artist of the year. But that's just, by the way, it's his opinion, so. Okay, so back, back to what I'm saying. Stoneboy, obviously, was the winner for um, this section. I mean, there was no other way anyone else would have won. Well, look at the number of songs he produced and, and the, 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 you know, the impact he made during the year. I mean, it was definitely Stoneboy compared to the rest. Um, I also feel like episode should do more, you know, to be able to um, get reggae dance or artists of the year. One of these, um, 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 one of these award shows. Yeah, I mean, episode has also been in the system for a while. But episode, I don't know, maybe episode should, should try following, maybe maybe it's just a maybe maybe episode should try following shatawale's you know um giddy giddy style and you know maybe beef with one one of the dancehall artists <laughs> and who knows maybe something can spark up for him but um aside that episode makes good music episode makes very good music um but um he was not able to take the dancehall artist of the year and samini also also samini we already know uh, he's one of the veterans in the game uh, but um, by the standard of VGME, he did not produce enough songs this year and, uh, and did not make that much of an impact to be the dancehall artist of the year. And then of course the La Russo, if people are hearing of, uh, he also was nominated but he was not able to take um, the reggae dancehall artist of the year. So what would this mean if um, Shatawali was um, still um, a part of this competition? Do you get it? Isn't it um, strange that it's, it's always the, the same names that we are seeing? Shatawali, Stoneboy, Shatawali, Stoneboy, and sometimes Samini. Shatawali, Stoneboy, Samini. So what is happening with the dancehall scene? Is it that the dancehall, uh, reggae dancehall, um, you know, music in Ghana, they've, they've locked it to a, a certain group of people? Maybe you need to get some particular fire inside of you, you know, be, before you are able to, you know, get to this recognition or uh, get to this award. Like, at the moment you at the reggae dancehall artist, you know, of the year, no, at the because it's it's Ghana by now. Ghana should have a lot of look at the influence Shatawali has um brought not only in Ghana but in in the whole world. By now, like there should be a lot more names. 
you know, that are making waves in the dance or you know, um, sector. But we are still seeing Shatawali Samini Stoneboy episode. Shatawali Samini Stoneboy episode. I mean, why? What's happening? What's happening? What's up? There was a time there was a, um, some female, um, there were, I think there were even two. Yeah, do you remember those two female reggae dance artists? But it's like now they've, too, they've died down or something. I don't know. I don't know whether they stopped producing music or, or they. I mean, at least there should be one, one, one hot dance hall girl who will come in. Oh, rest in peace to Ebony. Though. Ebony would have um, been a good uh, example of um, someone who was going to break the chains. But you already know what Ghanaians did to her. So, yeah, anyway, that's just by the way. Rest in peace, man. So, rest in peace. Now. I, I, really, I wouldn't really like to talk about the dead, but um, um, I'm sorry, I have to do this. Um, Ebony was was one of those who would have broken this um, system of seeing the same, you know, dancehall artists uh, over and over again. Ebony would have been the, the first... Okay, well, even um, after her demise, she won an award. Isn't it amazing that she won an award and yet she was not alive to see it? So... If she was still alive, Ebony would have been one of, you know, um, not only one of the artists, but one of the females who would have been changing this um, dance or reggae dance or, you know, syndrome um, in Ghana, where you are seeing only uh, the, the, the same names over and over again. I mean, the, the thing is, there are a lot of dance or artists and good dance or reggae dance or artists in Ghana, but you don't see them, you know, going to the us the uk and all those other places to perform like the way you see the stone boys and the shutters go 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 about to perform you get it apart from that also you only see them um on on these small small shows um you know the shows in the areas um once in a while the shows on the conference centers the national theaters and the rest that that's all the places you see them in you don't see them um you know at other places but they are very good dance all artists and i quite remember there was a time oh i missed the guy's name i would have mentioned this guy's name for you wow the guy is like shatawali not like um his behavior or his um, um his music per se but then the crowd here masses when the guy steps inside the yard right now hey the way people scream the guy is a dancehall artist i've forgotten his name yeah, but he's, he's a young guy he's a young guy he's he's, he's younger than um, um stoneboy and shatawali but the guy is able to do things um with impact like but he's not able also able to get to this level so i'm wondering like what is the jinx about this reggae dancehall artist thing ebony was the one who was like the rising star um you know to our reggae dance hall scene ebony was the one who was going to bring it into a whole different look look ebony brought dance hall and then added high life and put a twist of hip life to it and on top of that hey ebony she's serious she she was she was she was um i think ebony was the only thing um that you know would have um changed the the the, the scene for a long time now uh, unless of course when um, there's another um, um ebony like uh, another female dancer artist being prepared somewhere um to come to be unleashed to ghana but seriously y'all if you take ebony's you know um if you take away her even her dance and her seduction and all the things she does on stage she's still a good artist she's not like some of these female artists who are only showing us their bodies and dancing and twerking and whining no ebony was actually good like she was very talented you get what i'm saying good so ebony would have been if she was still here she would have been um one of those who would have been going on tour going to other nations you know performing in the big shows probably even in the o2 arena you know madison square all these places i'm sure i'm very sure ebony would have been um, performing there so enough about her um, i don't want to um, dwell too much on her so back to my point we are seeing the same reggae dancer artists of the year this is one of those things that i can intentionally tell you i'll predict it next year not because i am necessarily a prophet but because I, I've, I've, we've seen this thing over and over again this is the only you see next year reggae dancer artists of the year these are going to be the um the 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 nominees samini episode stoneboy and then maybe one other name 
of a new maybe dancehall artist that has popped up somewhere. He will just come inside the nominations, but he will not win. That, that, that's how, how it always happens. And we we'll all, already see that the winner will be Stoneboy or, or Samini. And of course, if Shatawali will be included, then maybe Shatawali. But you know, <laughs> Shatawali is on a different level right now. <laughs> okay, so um, and that, that's just what we are saying. We don't know, maybe things will change soon. Um, I like the fact that Stoneboy was saying... Um, he himself um, um, openly confessed that the reason he's winning this many awards is because of consistency, you know. Yes, because there's no other person to compete with him like that. So he has to be consistent. Look, Stoneboy and Samini, an episode, who, who again will give them serious heat? Because Shatawali is not in, in, inside this competition. So which other dancer artists can give them that, that you know, that hard toe-to-toe -to competition? No one. So Stoneboy was saying it's about competition and also there was one other thing he said which I think is very important. You know when artists continue winning an award over and over again, people sort of get fed up and they be like, yo, let other people win. But it's not supposed to be so, it's supposed to be for the one who's doing the good work. So if somebody continues to do good work and he's winning it all the time, don't say that, yo, because he has won it so many times, you should stop winning it. You get it. So that was one thing Stoneboy said which I, I felt is, is good, not just for himself but for a lot of people to take um, note of. If someone is doing it and he's doing it well, he can win it as many times as he wants, as long as he's the only one who's putting in that work and that effort and that consistency. And so um, that's it. Let's 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 bring the the video to an end. Congratulations congratulations to Stoneboy again for winning the Reggae Dancehall Artist of the Year. Um, we are very proud of you, Stoneboy. Um, continue to move us higher. Continue to show you know that you know you are, you are the steam. You are you are the one that is bringing all this heat around um, um, the dancehall scene in Ghana. Um, yeah, good kudos, kudos to you. Now, viewers, please leave your um, comments in the section below. Let us see what you think about Stoneboy's win. I mean, he has won it several times and he's won it again. So, um, yeah, anything you want to say, feel free and comment in the uh, comment section below. Thank you very much for listening and have a very nice day.